morning folks let me show you the spot that we're gonna fish today there is a little bit of an island over there well it's a good size island and it kind of breaks the water and on the left side we have the channel that's almost 10 feet deep this side is the shallow side okay and I decided to fish today the shallow side all of the rods are cast towards the bank not exactly towards the bank but there is I mean from here to the left the current is kind of slacking it's only four three four feet deep but yesterday I caught a carp in I mean one and a half foot of water so I know they are here in the shallow because I mean the shallow water warms up faster and it's pretty sunny today so according to theory this is the slack water this is the shallow water that warms up faster carp should be here this is where i am and this is why i stopped here i don't know if you can see my little uh, screen here but it says 5.3 feet of water and 48 degree temperature 47.9 so still kind of cold i believe that was a hit yeah there is a hit there is a hit definitely let me put you back here and uh, take care of this fish yeah there's a that's a that's a hit all right man i just cast them i just cast these rods and i started recording my intro okay that's a good sign Ooh. not a big fish but man does it feel good to feel the resistance of a fish again it's been a long winter guys and with all of this bullshit going on interestingly the one that is in the middle hit that's theory for you okay the one in the middle hit you don't know what bait was used on uh, on that rod but i don't know why this guy is going upstream where are you going? Man, that was a smooth netting job. I am still good, guys. Here is the first fish of the day. Beautiful, full of eggs carp. Haven't started spawning yet. And here is what he bit on. Gummy worm. Five pounds. Nice, fat, healthy fish. Let's let him go. So uh, here is what we have in the kitchen today, guys. Uh, the same old eye fish pack bait that you've seen. Uh, I got whole kernel sweet corn today. I wanted fresh corn, but I didn't have any at home and I didn't want to go to the store just for fresh corn. You know how it is. Also yesterday, uh, Somebody left me a comment on one of my uh, carp videos that fresh corn doesn't even work because it has no scent. All my life I always thought that fresh corn works just because, you know, I've caught thousands of carp with it. But turned out it didn't. That's, uh, that's how YouTube is. Uh, you learn something new every day. So that guy will be happy to know that I'm using sweet corn today, which does have some kind of flavor, I guess. But I'm also using sweet corn. I like it, but it tends to fall off very easy. And I am fishing in a river after all. So that's why I brought some of my uh, also gummy worms, okay? I think these were gluten-free and low sodium if somebody is concerned about the health of the carp. Like carp anglers, they are something else, uh, I'm telling you but uh, yeah so two of these rods have here uh, gummy worm on them because they're going to be in the middle kind of in the current and gummy worm is extremely durable bait i'm here to tell you this thing will stay in the current for three hours and it will not dissolve it makes me wonder how it dissolves in my stomach okay and the other two have uh, three kernels of uh, sweet corn I always make sure the tip of the hook 
you see that the tip of the hook is completely exposed and um, yeah i'm uh, i'm going all ugly stick striper today two spinning and two bait casting i'm kind of making two videos today i'm gonna make a video about this combo so watch out for that for Мисъл, те излизат горе, излизат едно хвърчуво, нашата е купила. Горнят едно хвърчуво из къщата, ма цял ден на лодката е студено. Не е толкова хубаво. О, 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 файна ли? Окей. Окей. Мен, аз вървам много време за този фиш. I waited a long time for this fish and he is small. Let me open the drag for this guy because he is small. Very windy. There we go. There we go. Number two. A little bit bigger. No spawn yet. The pre spawn. You can see that the belly is just full of. I think this is a male fish, so you know what it's full of. But uh, yeah. Uh, Man, for this dirty river, the carp here sure do look like they're in great health. Alright folks, my external microphone died, so I don't know if the last uh, carp had audio in it. Let me try to shield this microphone from the wind. But uh, yeah, the action is really slow. Uh, it took me two hours to catch just these two fish. And the second one just came out, so I had like an hour and a half window without a bite. And I've been contemplating moving, but I mean, this place is so beautiful on, on theory, you know, the fish should be here. It's slack water, it's shallow, the sun is just burning this bank here. This is where the fish should be, so I mean, I caught a second fish and I'm kind of lazy. I have two anchors to lift uh, if I want to move, uh, so... I think I'm going to stay here for another hour and see how it goes. Man, it really took a long time. Hopefully they start to come up shallow oh he he got me snagged now he got me snagged and these are braided lines every knot with braided lines is fatal feels like a better carp than the other two but that doesn't mean much because the other two were merely five pounders. I'm hoping this one to be a 10 pounder. But he's under the boat now, of course. I'm getting impatient with this guy. Now he's gonna go get me tangled in the propeller of the engine. Come here. Yeah, he saw the propeller. Now he's pulling hard to get into the propeller. <sighs> here is number three, folks. Not quite 10 pounds. But uh, perfect health. This here is uh, my carp bait this here too he flipped a few times fat 
full of eggs or if he's a male I can't tell male from female carp but all the scales are here no damage beautiful healthy fish nice colors okay uh, let's try to catch some more it's not too late to start getting a hot bite sometimes in the morning it's all but in the afternoon it picks up so hopefully it does Finally, come here. Are you still here? Yeah, he's still here. Yeah, he's still here. Oh my God, folks, you have no idea how many hours passed between this fish and the previous fish. I worked for these fish today. And as soon as I start packing and I move the, the landing pen away, he bites. He's not very big, but glad to catch one before I go. Here's fish number four, guys not a big guy all four of them are you know very close to five pounds maybe a couple of them over a couple of them under but all of them beautiful colors perfect scales and full bellies they're about to start spawning anytime now but before the spawn i don't know why they were just not active today let me uh, let this guy go back and close out this video. And that's all I got for uh, this trip, guys. Um, same thing like last, uh, last year, my first trip was in April 20th, something like this. And I got only three or four fish. It was down by the bridge, but similar story. All day, I mean, I fished more than seven hours today almost eight hours for four fish i got five hits i lost one of them i landed the other four but this is extremely slow fishing for such a beautiful spot that i know is just full of fish but the water is still very cold and yeah you can catch carp in cold water but they're just not active they don't want to move a lot they don't want to spend a lot of you know energy and uh, you're, not, you're just not gonna catch uh, too many fish. It's not like in the summer, you've seen some of my videos, just bam, 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 20 fish for three hours and you go home tired. But uh, it is what it is. I got three of the fish on uh, corn and two of them on gummy worms. So I don't think it matters too much. Whatever you have, don't think about it too much. Just think about what does the carp eat normally you know with his nose in the mud so sweet corn gummy worm whatever you throw him they're gonna be happy once they find it okay you gotta help them find it but that's all i have for this video i'm gonna be making reviews of these rigs look out for those thank you for watching i'll see you soon bye bye Oh my god. Oh my god. Now that I'm leaving, they're starting to to bite. That feels like a better fish too. Remember next time they say someone tells you you know, if you don't get a bite in 20 minutes, pack up and go. That's not true.
you can wait three hours and at sunset you can get four or five fish back to back. Because they do migrate during the different hours of the day. No, he's not big. He is exactly the same size. Here is mambo number five, exactly the same as the other fish. Around five pounds, good health, full of eggs. All right. Interesting. At sunset, the ones in the middle of the river started biting. Hey, let me know in the comments if you saw the last fish after my outro, okay? I want to know who saw the last fish. Drop me a comment. Once again, thanks for watching.